bet you crash like cocaine. The, 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 the hard couple, best by far. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC light heavyweight division collision. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arm. It's unbelievable because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure this sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has this. All right, so here we go with round one. This young contender has won his last three fights, and as many of you know, each knockout more impressive than the last. He'll try to extend the knockout streak here tonight to continue his path toward title contention. We'll see if he can keep it going here tonight. Overhand punch to the head, blocked, though, by Noguera. Oh, big punch land. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big punch from the clinch. Oh, goes to the ankle pick now to get him down DC. We'll see how he chooses to proceed from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Look at the turnover in that kick. He is all about that left kick to the body. Oh, big elbow. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. And they separate. Massive kick down the tip lane. Two minutes have expired in our opening round. All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has sufficient options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his grounded pound. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back to position, build posture again, throw big strikes, and just really wear him down with a really secure position in half guard. He's having his way with him here. Close guard. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground to me. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Allows him to get right back up. He did a great job securing that ankle pick, but did not react quick enough to secure top position. All right, so just like that, back to a standing position. We will see who has the advantage. Focus, focus. Right, no, gets caught with that punch. All right, he engages in the single collar tie, and they separate. Oh, man, I'm starting to feel bad for the canvas as he lands another takedown there. He landed another takedown, and he's doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of is his cardio, the ability to be able to keep this pace over and over as he hits these takedown defenders. Jab. I know. Sure, sure. Strong five minutes. 
So the crowd voicing its appreciation. And that's exactly what he's doing. He takes his opponent to his side to try to get the finish. Looks like his opponent's trying to turn into the... Yeah, notice he just took the body triangle, readjust the lock, and now it looks like he's got it. There is the tap. So he submits courtesy of the rear naked choke. That guy's got to squeeze up. He does a great job securing the position, getting under the neck, and then hiding his hands in order to get the finish. Fantastic performance by this fighter. He got him! What a performance! So yeah, it came down to tap out or go to sleep, and his opponent chose the former. The choke was clearly sunk in deep, perfect technique, and ultimately that is one of the bigger wins of his career. He gets it done by submission here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 34 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out, Russia! Well, the celebration is on in his corner, and hard to blame these guys, sort of waiting to exhale 